Okay, I'm here with Trish. Trish Complete. Yeah. Um, how are you doing, Trish? Yeah, I'm fine. I, actually, brilliant. How's your uh, Brighton Music Conference going? Oh, I love it. Getting to meet lots of people, making lots of connection. And it's my birthday. I'm happy getting wiser. Happy birthday. Is it to actually today? Yes, it's today. Yay, happy <laughs> thank birthday. You, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Um, okay, cool. So your birthday interview. Uh, we're going to talk about music library uh, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so we first met at the Brighton Music Conference last year. Yes, it was. And in that yeah. year, you've had a pretty good year, DJ-wise. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I released my first debut album on Tool Room Records. Yes. And um, one before that on Oliver Heldman's label. Amazing. So it's been, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my musical journey. And am I right in saying you were at Point Blank Music School? Yes, I was a graduate from Point Blank Music School as well. Nice. Still learning every day. <laughs> every day, of course. Well, that's Never the life, life's journey, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Um, okay, so t tell us a bit about your music library. We'll start at the beginning with music discovery. Uh, where are you finding new tracks? Use Spotify or YouTube, SoundCloud? Oh, good idea. <laughs> um, uh, b before, when I was DJing in uh, Egg London and Ministry of Sound, I used to find all the club bangers uh, because according to my uh, dark club over there, so I used to find it on Beatport. Now I've become a now and now I've become a, a producer as well. So I signed to a lot of uh, promos. Yeah. So like thousand and one promos. Yeah, literally lots of promos. So I get my music on promos and also uh, interaction on Instagram with yep. DJs. Oh, interesting. Like uh, core DJs yep. who I studied with in Tool Room Academy. Yeah. Uh, so when they make a track, they always send me a Dropbox. Yep. That's so kind of them, and, and um, I try and try and include and support in my mixes as well. Yep. So yeah, promos, uh, Beatport, Track Source. Uh, I've been recently using Beat Beat Source. Yep. As well. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, sometimes iTunes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, so once you found oh, uh, so the promos you're getting sent by DJs directly. Yeah, directly. Tracks and yeah. Stuff, yeah. So you're listening to a lot of music every week? Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm getting that uh, in our ear. Yeah. Like what exactly, who is looking for what and what sounds, yeah. what labels, uh, yeah. I wasn't there uh, this stage. Like if you asked me a couple of years back, I would have absolutely lost. But now I'm just getting into uh, the boat. Like I know what what yeah. you're looking for yeah, and what exactly. sound is kind of hitting yeah, 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 exactly. and also what is going to work when you're playing out right yeah exactly yeah read the crowd what yeah. goes with the, the crowd yeah basically yeah yeah amazing okay so um and then are you buying your tracks from beatport track source that yeah, sort of thing yeah. uh, obviously the promos you get so once you've got your tracks um are you importing them straight to record box do you put them through something else first yeah download it on my safari and then um yeah, put it on my hard drive, and then from hard drive to record box, and then straight to USB. They, that's what is the current thing going on now, yeah. And do you uh, analyze for a uh, key? Yes, yes. And how do you organize your tracks, BPM or genre or? Uh, Energy-wise, because um, mine is, um, I normally play three uh, three a.m. bangers. Yeah. So if it's three a.m. Bangers. bangers, I love it. Absolutely <laughs> hitting the ceiling. Yes. Uh, so if I, if I, if I'm doing a two hour set or a three hour set, I will start from a slow tribal house or a slow uh, uh, funky house and then increase my BPM as the night gets. Uh, more as the fun. morning comes. As basically. the morning comes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So and so you have uh, playlists. Along those lines, do you? Yes. You've got your sort of warm-up set. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Opening set, warm-up set, 3 a.m. bangers. Yeah. And then do you build um, playlists for particular gigs or you go into those folders? Oh, I do, I do choose my music uh, for a particular gig, yeah. Yeah. And then you'll have whatever it is, 20 tracks for yeah. that gig, but then you might dip in and out of your other folders depending on where the vibe's going? Exactly, exactly, yeah. So I have uh, a lot of floating uh, tracks in my main uh, uh, in my main collectives and then I've got a particular playlist under the playlist folder. Yeah, yeah. nice. And like how, how often do you dip out of the particular set 
folder for that gig and go on a little journey. If, if I see the crowd disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going there. Yeah, right. And you're like, okay, we need to go a bit yeah, more we need over to, here. Yeah, we need to change. Yeah, and that reading the crowd, did it take a while to get the hang of that? Yes, of course, yes. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just read the crowd and change the tracks. And um, yeah. And of course, as you get more experience, you can probably read it before they even... Exactly. Now I know all the children friends are there. So yeah. I'll probably play one of those yeah. um, tracks, which yeah. everybody's going to love. Yeah. So I think in DJing, um, choice is very important. Yeah. M m making choice uh, tracks is very important. Yeah. And also, yeah, picking the right tracks at the right moment. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so you import everything into Beatport. Do you, um, uh, do you use Beatport on a laptop or you just only go to USBs? Uh, um tend to use only laptop at the moment. You yeah. Only laptop? Only laptop. Okay, cool. So you have a controller? Yes, yes. Oh, you mean Beatport? Uh, sorry. Um, no, no, no. I mean, uh, do you you export to USB yes, and then I you use play in CDJs? Yes, yes, yes. I use my ears. Right. Uh, one track to another. I don't um, use any other software to yeah, yeah. help me now. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't use Tractor. Yeah. And um, uh, so how many USBs do you carry when you go to a gig? Just one for now, because I can, uh, since I'm doing a B2B, yep. I'm carrying one, otherwise yep. two, yep. otherwise uh, one if I can link anybody, link both, yep. and that's a bit of a thing. Do you enjoy back to back? Oh, don't even ask me, it's my first time, it's my first time, it's my first time. But um, yeah, I think, I love it because I've done uh, EP together with the, with Charmaine Love, yep. and I know her. I'm comfortable with her. I know what she plays yep. because uh, how we connected with each other is because having the basic techno uh, upbeat uh, yep. cho choice. Yep. We have a similar interest in the sounds, yep. so that's how we got connected. And she came up to me like, "Oh, I like your techno sound." So that's how I got connected, and I'm Brighton now. Uh, yeah, I've got a Brighton friend. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You're having a fun time, aren't you? Yes, yes, yeah, I am, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks so much for talking to us, Trish. Really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Welcome. Nice have, talking to you. Too. Have a great rest of the conference. Yeah.